right, what's going on guys? We're just going to shoot through this Napa tool deal flyer real quick. Now, I didn't know this, but these prices are only good through September 30th, 2019. So these prices will only be good up for the next 16 days. But I figured we'll shoot through it. There might be something here you may be interested in and there still is time for you to get it. So let's just go through as fast as we can because these books are thick. There's a lot of stuff in here. And as I said before, I think the Napa store is more geared toward the professional to the serious DIYer. They do offer some high quality tools and they also offer them at a pretty decent price as we'll see when we get through here. But on the front, we see they are promoting their Napa 2020 Napa Expo and they say enroll today at your Napa store, you get some Napa Expo bucks. I'm not sure exactly what that is. So if you know, let us know. And on the front, they're also promoting the new gear wrench tools and their Carlisle tool storage and organization. Now these gear wrench bolt biter extractor sockets, I do want to get these. They look pretty decent. I actually have the uh, Irwin set. That's a pretty good set. I'll link that below. It's not as a complete set as that but it will get you through in a pinch and they're a lot cheaper than these are. I looked these up, these are around $170 or something for the set, but it is a complete set, as I said. First page, they have some tool mats and they have a small six by 12 all the way up to the large 12 by 22. You can get all three for 164. Then we have some shop fans. Then we have a Wilton vise with the hammer combo. Wilton's are high quality vices. I own a good Wilton vice, a tradesman vice. It's a six or $700 vice. It is an expensive vice, but it'll be the only vice I ever need. I've never seen one break. I've put a lot of force on them and never seen one break. I've seen a lot of people put a lot of force on them. They're great vices. The hammers are great also, but they are expensive. I do own a Wilton hammer as well, but they also have a little jump starter over here, $99.99, and they have a couple pressure washers, and here's their Carlisle storage, they was promoting on the front cover, some of it, they have some bags, you can see the different prices, then we have the gear wrench, 14 piece flex head wrench set, $89.99, and the 14 piece reversible wrench set, $89.99, gear wrench, ratcheting wrenches are pretty good, I do own some, Here's more Carlisle storage. We have a Carlisle jack, Carlisle hand gloves, pliers, some more Carlisle tools, some Carlisle wrenches. These are not the same wrenches as the wrenches I showed in my earlier video that have the bite on them. We will see those wrenches as we get further in here. Carlisle long nose plier set, three piece, $119.99. We have some Carlisle Creepers, mechanic seats. As you can see, they, they are charging quite a bit for these Carlisle tools. Now we have some Carlisle Ratchets. You can see the prices, 53, 77, 73, 129.99 for the half inch drive, 25 inch extra long comfort grip ratchet. Teardrop Flex Locking Ratchets, 41, 90, 52, 69. Carlisle Socket Sets, 59.99 for the 3H drive, 43.99 for the quarter inch drive. Now we can see that's quite a big difference with the Icon Sockets that I was just reviewing. But with that being said, this is a more complete set. This goes to an inch, while the Icon Set only goes to 7 eighths. There's some more Carlisle Wrenches. We can see the prices. Ratcheting Wrenches. Pretty big difference from the $109.99 Icon set. Another set, pretty big difference. Those are the reversible ratcheting wrenches. I don't know if the Icon has reversible ratcheting or not. Maybe they are reversible ratcheting. I can't remember correctly. But if you know, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure somebody knows. Carlisle socket trays. Carlisle Cobra knockoffs. Pretty expensive. More Carlisle pliers, Dominator, hook pick sets. Now you can get these Dominator sets on Amazon for a lot cheaper. Same thing with the pry bars. They have the Dominator pry bars on Amazon as well. We have more Carlisle tools. And we even have some Carlisle apparel similar to the tool truck books that I go through at times. It's been a while since I went through one. I need to get one. Carlisle punches and chisels. 
Here's some of their budget drill bits. We have some Irwin. You get a $25 rebate when you buy one of these. So if you was interested, if you wanted to get this locking plier set, for instance, you could get $25 back. Drill bits, screw extractor drill set. These are indispensable. $99.99 and you get the $25. More, more Irwin. These are the, this is the Irwin set I was speaking about earlier, the bolt extractor set. They have it for $21.99 at Napa. It's a pretty good deal. And we're on their gear wrench page. See we have the wrenches, wrench racks, their mechanics tool sets, more wrenches. And here's the bolt buyers I was speaking about. You can see here that this set, you can actually get this set on Amazon for like 170, so it is cheaper, but they have it here for $209.99, but that is a complete set. They do look really nice. They have the smaller sets. You have $45.99 for this 8-piece set, $124.99 for 15-piece set. Here's your gear wrench, 120-tooth ratchets, $64.99 for a quarter inch and three-eighths. And for a three-piece set, you can get it for $94.99. And for a four-piece set, $134.99. Gear wrench socket sets. Gear wrench shop tools, pry bars, torque wrenches, serpentine belt tool set, tap and die set. And here's some more Wiltons I was speaking about. And here we can see they have the hammer set, $209.99. They have a smaller hammer set, $99.99. They are expensive hammers, but as I said, they are well-made hammers. They're probably the best hammers that I've used. And they have Wilton C clamps, Wilton F clamps. And here they have a deal, the $500 rebates on Proto Tools, but you have to see your local Napa Auto Parts store for details. Then we have some lights. We can see they're pretty expensive. So I don't think a lot of people, I think a lot of people don't give Harbor Freight enough credit for the prices they offer. You know, even, even on their pretty quality tools that they have in the store, as you see, once you get into high quality tools, you start having to pay quite a bit. I mean, just even for these lights right here, we see a, you know, that's a, that's expensive for some lights. <laughs> Carlisle toolbox light. Then we have some coast flashlights. We see coast and Mako tools books all the time. We can see their prices. Some more Carlisle tools. Here's a thermal imaging inspection camera, $824. Infrared thermometer, $66. If you see anything on here that you're interested in, if you shoot me a comment and ask me, I can go get you the, the tool number or what other, inf other information you may need. But I'm just trying to go through this as quickly as I can. Three piece jaw puller set, 166. Or three jaw puller for a 10 ton puller, 166. For a three ton puller, 124. Three jaw pullers are expensive, but you really do need a good quality one. The ones at Harbor Freight. They're not good quality at all. If you have to do anything serious with them, they're going to come apart on you. I've had them happen to me a few times. Now here's something big to talk about is this home act storage because a lot of people like to compare the new icon saying that Harbor Freight's charging too much and they could get the home act a lot cheaper. I don't know the quality of these home acts. If I did know the quality of these home acts, I could say whether or not it's a good deal. As a lot of people know, Cheaper is not always the best way. Just because something's cheaper doesn't mean that it's better. Just because you're saving money doesn't mean it's better because it may be costing you more money in the long run. But as I said, I don't know the quality of these, but we can see the Pro the Pro Series Side Locker for $6.99. They have the End Locker, $5.14. They have these cards, $5.99.99. It's a seven drawer cart. They have this one drawer flip top cart 189. It seems like a pretty good deal for that. And we can see here they have the blast cabinet for 489.90. Now that's a lot more expensive than the one at Harbor Freight. Is that of a higher quality than the one at Harbor Freight? Probably is. But there's a lot of modifications you can do to the one at Harbor Freight to make it a really good sandblast cabinet. And they also have the parts washers 259. You can get the one at Harbor Freight for $99. I own that one. I don't hardly ever use it. I just bought it <laughs> just because. We got some more Carlisle tool storage. And some Carlisle tool bags. Carlisle air tools taking it to the next level. 
$234.99 for the half inch impacts. I don't know how good they are. I've never used any car law air tools, but we can see like this half inch drill, $269.99 on sale. The Chief at Harbor Freight is I think a hundred, close to a hundred. And I've used that and it's actually a really good half inch air drill. I was actually pretty impressed with it. We have some needlers, 163. Needlers are expensive. I actually own an Ingersoll needler and it's actually a pretty good needler, but it was pretty expensive. I think it's cheaper than that though. And then you see they have their 3 8 air drill, 129.99, and their right angle 3 8 air drill, 129.99. High speed air saw, 99.99. Air die grinders. Right, a right angle die grinder and a straight die grinder, $79.99. That's not a bad price if they're decent. Some impact sockets, 3 8 impact sockets. We have some air hose reels. Then we have the R12 series impacts. See those prices. R8 series belt sander, 3 in 1. Some combo packs, die grinder, right angle grinder. That's the R8 series. This is back to the R12 series grinders. We can see they're a lot more expensive. R8 series die grinders. We can see those go up. Those are look, look better quality than these here. I don't like die grinders and right angle grinders that don't have some sort of grip on the outsides because that metal gets really cold, especially if you have to use it for long periods of time. And especially if you're doing it in the winter and you work somewhere where there's no heat. Impact ratchets. Then we have the Jet Air Compressor, $899. That's a pretty good deal for a 60-gallon compressor. Chicago Pneumatic Cordless and Air Tools. Those are pretty high quality. With, with high quality, as you see, you're going to pay for it. It's their impacts. Now we're down at their drills, air ratchets, right angle drills. Belt sander, orbital palm sander, torque wrenches, air swivels. Now we're on their Ingersoll page and you can get trade-in rebates, trade in a similar old tool, replace it with a new Ingersoll RAM model and receive these great trade-in rebates. So I guess these are the prices with the trade-in rebates. You have to mail it in. This is the air hammer I have. Uh, 149 you can get on Amazon for like 110 it's actually a really good air hammer kit if you don't have a good air hammer you need to get one I'll say that to the day I die <laughs> they're definitely indispensable now we have the Ingersoll cordless line and it's pretty they're pretty expensive man but I have heard that they are you know top-notch quality I've never used their cordless tools but I have used their air tools obviously quite a bit now we have their DeWalt's buy one get one by that th quarter inch by that quarter inch impact driver and you get the five amp hour battery free same thing with the three eighths impact and we have the the chainsaw 369.99 where you get one battery with that 60 volt portable cutoff saw i definitely would like to have that i own this and i own this the Sawzall and the Grinder, two great tools. I don't own a saw. I would like to get the saw, but I don't own it. We got some more DeWalt, more DeWalt, more DeWalt. And we have the DeWalt Air Tools and Hand Tools. You get the Mechanics Tool Sets, some Quarter Polishers, Pancake Compressor, 15-Gallon Compressor, Quarter tools. There you got some Porter cable down here. Hot buys. And we have some Napa. And we have some Napa compressors. Pretty expensive, as you can see. Chicago pneumatic compressor. More Napa compressors. We have the Ingersoll compressors. As low as $13.79. Low is $27.99, $200 off with instant rebates. Is there gas, Ingersoll's gas compressors? And they're also offering you get that air hammer 
that I showed you over there for free when you buy one of these compressors. Air compressed electric dryers, some DeWalt compressors, Proforce compressors. The DeWalt says they're powered by Honda, a gas engine. Okay, these are, these are some jump boxes. Now, if you see my video earlier, I showed you the Maco Tools jump box that I bought for $2.99 and I showed it on Amazon for $1.30. Here's the same jump box. They sell it at uh, Napa for $1.99.99, so it's even cheaper at Napa. But as you can see, that's quite a bit different than the Amazon price. There's another one. You can get that one a lot cheaper on Amazon. J and C are, are good jump boxes. Charging, battery charging stations. Those are some other things that you're going to need. Carlisle jump starters. Professional battery starters, charging system analyzers. Here's some of those accessories we're going to shoot through real quick. Gloves, mask, goggles, more mask, back brace, paint suits. Here's some of their vices. Wilton. Wilton. This is the one that I have. And you can see it's selling here for $600 for the size that I have. So like I said, they are expensive. Pallet jacks. Metal brakes, band saws, drill presses, hydraulic presses, bench grinders, some generators, hot by power inverters, air compressor, pressure washers, hot water pressure washer. pressure washers, generators, generators, bolt bins, some parts washers, and it has some fuel carts as well, mechanics creepers, coolant exchanger, fuel primer, transmission fluid exchanger, workshop presses. You can see those are those are pretty heavy duty, man. I mean, but they, they cost a lot, but you can see they're pretty pretty intense. Some shop fans. Shop fans are expensive. That's not a bad price, but they got the one at Harbor Freight for 100 And we got some infrared heaters. As you can see, that's pretty expensive. $1,990 for that little sucker. Then we have some welders. ESOB, firepower. More firepower. We got some helmets. Marquette. Some helmets. Welding and tire accessories, flat disc, grinding wheels, cut off wheels, bolt buster induction tool set. That's the thing I showed you in the Mac O book or the MacBook one, probably both, maybe, that heat the bolt up without a flame using inductive heat. Using inductive heat. So those are expensive, but that's something that I feel like that you probably should get at some point. I will get one eventually. Tire changers, that's another thing I want to get. Tire changers, wheel balancers. I like to find a good used one. Wheel balancers. Some more lifts. Now we got, we got some Crescent mechanic sets. As you can see, don't impress me too much. Some more lights, some stools, some battery chargers, battery testers, power inverters. We have some paint guns. As I said before, man, them Harbor Freight paint guns will be just good for a couple uses. They're only like 10 bucks. Some economy plastic creepers. Here's their Evercraft, their lower line. So you can see their two-ton engine hoist, two. $249.99, and that's still even more expensive than a Harbor Freight. I mean, look at those jack, $189.90, $109.90. Them Pittsburgh jacks are pretty good for $69. And on the back, we got some more HOMAC toolboxes. You see they got the 72-inch 16-door Pro Series roller cabinet with the stainless steel top. 
for $14.99. The 54 inch, $11.69. The 27 inch, 11 drawer Pro Series Combo, $9.13. And the 41 inch, 16 drawer Pro Series Combo, $12.59. And down here we got the, the bigger systems with the stainless backs and the top cabinets. And we see those prices. Now, as we see, now these do also say they do have a limited lifetime warranty. What that covers, I have no idea, but they claim it's 24 inches deep. And, you know, I have heard good things about them. And, you know, for a 72 inch box with a stainless top for $1,500, I think it is worth taking a look at. But I'm going to go ahead and end this because I've already went on too far. Like I said, it was a long book, man. I'm going to try to edit it down as quick as possible. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go down and subscribe below because I'm going to be doing more videos like this, including projects, tips, tour reviews, and more. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. I guarantee it.